Detective Smith, uh, directing your attention first to People's 186, the, the Ballastone ointment. Do you know specifically where this item was recovered? No, I do not. How did you or how did LAPD come into beset possession of this ointment? This was during that same day on the 26th, uh, the Ballastone ointment along with a couple of those two empty pill bottles were recovered from the master uh, bathroom of Michael Jackson's bedroom area. Okay, so they were recovered from the master bathroom? Correct. All right. And then going to what I marked previously is people's 187, the empty bottle of lorazepam, and 188, the empty bottle of diazepam. From where were these two items recovered on June 26, 2009? Also the master bath area. You can have a series of photographs. Uh, depicting various areas of the master bath. The first set of photographs, first two photographs, strike that. Yeah. First set of photographs are all taken June 25th, 2009, Your Honor. And Four individual photographs, again taken June 25, 2009. May these be marked People's 189, 190, 191, and 192, Your Honor? Marked. Thank you. You're welcome. Detective Smith, were you able to go through your photographs prior to testifying today and, and accurately ascertain that the, the pictures that reflect the date of June 25th were pictures taken on June 25th? Yes, sir. And there were multiple pictures taken on different days during this investigation. Is that accurate? That's correct. Going to June 25th, 2009. Thank you. What is, what is this general area shown here? That's the uh, master bath in Michael Jackson's bedroom. And is what we are viewing in this immediate photograph uh, a bathtub uh, and toilet area? Yes, sir. Right. And just for a reference point, going back to People's 174 then, is that the leftmost portion of the diagram, this upper rectangle, will be the bathtub, and to the right of that, the toilet area? Yes, sir. And then as you, while we have this diagram up, in that master bath area to the lower portion of the master bath where you have this uh, essentially an L-shaped, uh, is that a, a vanity sink area? Yes, it is. Going to People's, well, let me just, People's 190. Again, that's just another view showing the toilet area as it extends from the bathtub area? Correct. All right. Going to People's 191, Is this the condition the room was in, the, excuse me, the master bath was in on June 25th, 2009? Yes, extremely messy. And what is shown here, is this the previously referenced vanity uh, sink area from the diagram that you identified? Yes. Okay, and just kind of moving across that photograph, there appears to be Drawers open, de debris on the floor, a lot of items on the counter. Yes, sir. Notes taped to the mirror. Yes. That's the condition you observed the room to be in on June 25th? Yes, sir. And then going to People's 192, uh, same general view, uh, but again, is that accurately 
show the condition of this bathroom on June 25th, 2009? Yes. Going then to the next day of June 26th, 2009, I have a series of photographs, Your Honor. Four individual photographs taken from the same area dated June 26, 2009, the following day. May these be marked People's 193, People's 194, 195, and 196, respectively, Your Honor? Yes, 193 through 196. Detective Smith. Going back first to People's 189, uh, showing the master bath area, and there are no empty pill vials on the sledge on June 25th. Is that accurate? Yes, sir. Did you say 25th or 26th? June 25th. Correct? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, going forward, and again, on June 25th, uh, there's no, uh, there is no briefcase or anything on the bathroom. Uh, that had been previously referenced by defense counsel. Is that accurate? Yes, it is. All right. Going forward then to June 26, 2009, was this photograph taken uh, when you responded to the residents in regard to what you later learned to be dried up, degraded marijuana? Yes. All right. Now, in this picture, we do see uh, this briefcase and nothing on the ledge. Whose briefcase is, is this, if you know? I don't, I don't know. Going to the next photograph, People's 194, again from June 26. The, these pill bottles are up on this ledge. Are these the two empty pill bottles, the lorazepam and the diazepam that you previously referenced? Yes, they are. And additionally, in People's 195, we have the balisone ointment, the lorazepam and the diazepam on this ledge? That's correct. And then a close-up again from June 26, 2009, showing the balisone ointment, the lorazepam 2 milligram tablets prescribed by Conrad Murray, and the diazepam with the label torn apart. Uh, this is again June 26, 2009? Yes, sir, it is. So. Detective, why why were the fo the well? Let me ask you, who who placed those discarded or those empty containers on that ledge on June 26, 2009? I did. Okay. For what purpose? For purposes so that they could be photographed. Is this where they're? This is not then where they were recovered. That's correct. And you indicated previously that they were they were recovered in the master bath, somewhere in the vanity area. Yes. Was anything else of note recovered on June 26, 2009, other than the items you previously identified as being given to you by the family, the degraded marijuana and some paperwork and things of that nature? That was it. Now, at some point during your, during your investigation, Were you made aware 
uh, through Dr. Murray's defense attorneys uh, that they wish to set up a, a meeting or an interview. Yes. And when did you become aware of that? I was uh, notified of that on uh, Saturday, which would have been uh, June 27, 2009. And was that through a Mr. Michael Pena, who's seated in court here behind me? Uh, yes, Mr. Pena spoke with Detective Martinez, I believe. And was contact made then uh, between either you or Detective Martinez and uh, Mr. Pena or Mr. Chernoff? Yes. Who, who was making that contact? Or did you speak to one of the attorneys or did uh, Detective Martinez? That was Detective Martinez. And were arrangements then made for a meeting for a particular time and place? Yes, they were. Okay. And eventually, what was the what was the time and date agreed upon for this meeting and interview? It was on June 27th, the Saturday, uh, 2009, at 4 p.m. at the Ritz Carlton Marina Del Rey. And who chose the location for this meeting? Uh, Dr. Murray's attorneys, uh, Ed Chernoff and Michael Pena. And did you meet, uh, did you respond to the Ritz-Carlton and the Marina Del Rey on June 27, 2009 at 4 p.m.? Yes, I did. And who accompanied you? Uh, Detective Martinez. And that's Detective Orlando Martinez? Yes. And when you arrived at the Ritz-Carlton, did you meet up with... Uh, Mr. Chernoff and Mr. Pena and the defendant, uh, Dr. Murray? Yes, I did. And was there a particular location where you met uh, in order to conduct your interview? Yes. And where was that? It was located within the uh, hotel in a uh, office area, small office area, if you will. Okay, some type of room in the hotel? Yes. Have you heard the audio tape? Yes. Okay, and there's a lot of, um, it, al it almost sounds like silverware or, or clinking in the background. Do you know what that was? Uh, we were adjacent to uh, a banquet hall or something where they were serving. May we approach, Your Honor? Yes. 